News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukut Ali. And a very good morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo. And what a wonderful day it is. And it's, uh, the day is even more wonderful because today we're going to talk about cricket. The past, the present, and is there a future? And uh, this morning, let's take a look. Let's start by taking a look at the past, shall we? Because we've got a, a guest here who captained Sri Lanka uh, for the very first time and who scored, who faced the first ball for Sri Lanka and obviously who also scored the first test runs for our country. And uh, whilst the clip is playing in the background, we have here uh, Mr. Bandula Wanapura. Very good morning to you, Mr. Wanapura. Good morning, Ali. We are, we are greatly uh, privileged uh, to have you here. Um, you, you must be something of a national treasure. Um, how do you feel now? How, how, actually, before that, how did you feel uh, on the day that uh, you were facing that ball in all the crowds at the uh, Oval here in Colombo? Uh, uh, quiet, and the guy takes his run up. How did you feel? The, the, uh, as you know, when, when you go to bat, you get butterflies in the stomach. Right. I mean, that happens to every, every batsman, right. whether experienced or inexperienced. But here, the, the problem or the fear I had was, what if I get out in the first ball? I mean, the, that's the fear I had. Uh, and as you see, that I, I faced that ball with my pad, uh, not with the bat. Right. So the fear was that I shouldn't get out. That's right. number one. So after that, of course, that went off. Right. And uh, I'm lucky that I got the, uh, got the first run. Yes. You, you, in the first innings, you scored two runs. You faced, uh, I think you were at the crease for 25 minutes. And uh, you gone down in history. Yes, I mean, the, as I said earlier, I mean, it was 10. We are playing against England. We are yes. playing our first test match. We were, you know, the, the whole world were looking. Yes. And the, the important, important thing at that stage was to show the world that we were a good enough country to receive test status. Right. But if you see there are some other countries who got status after, after Sri Lanka, yeah. uh, there were a lot of accusations saying that, look, here, this country is not good enough to play test cricket still. Right. But up to now, thank God, and, you know, we must put all the credit to our administrators and the cricketers that nobody has accused us of that. Of that. So we were good enough. Yeah, we time. were good enough. We are good enough. <coughs> but at the time, you all didn't even have a coach. Yeah, we had right. three. Right. Because uh, that's the era that we had some uh, difficulties with the administration. Right. And uh, there were three national coaches, uh, but then uh, you know two of them were not attending practices. Right. One uh, came in, but we were not happy with his uh, conduct. So there were no coach. Then uh, one gentleman came from Australia to help us, but right. then uh, that didn't go down that well. Right. Uh, and it was the seniors uh, who did everything. Right. So actually we handled ourselves. Right. And um, even though we finished the match in four days, we didn't disgrace ourselves. Right. But we were winning up to the third day. Right. And we lost the match on the fourth day. I see. I see. Um, do, you, do you still feel about that? Do you still have that? that feeling you had when you were representing your country that, that morning? Yes, I mean, the coming back to the first test match again, I mean, the, the, the last place has to be decided between two players because we selected the 10 the previous day. Right. But then, uh, you know, KMT was the chairman of the selection committee, right. uh, late KMT. And uh, we had a discussion and they said, Bandula, you next day morning when you go to the match, uh, you know, make sure that you pick the, uh, the right person. Right. And uh, a lot of people think the last place was between uh, Anu Van Singh and Arjuna Ranatunga. No, right. Arjuna was in the 10. Right. The last place was between Lalit Kalpurum and Anu Van Singh. Right. Uh, the interesting part was they were both Nalandians right. and they were playing for Bloomfield under me. Okay. So it was a case of, you know, selecting somebody on their own. So what did you do? Toss a coin? Uh, no, no. We decided uh, again with the seniors that we will go for the match with a spin attack. Right. And then we had three spinners, Ajit De Silva and DS De Silva already in the team. Uh, DS being the first professional player for Sri Lanka. And his players were much more sure than my players right. in the first test match because he were brought down from England. Right. 
uh, which the players did not know, which we did know. Right. So therefore, his place was sure. So we had to decide between Ajit, and uh, he was a right arm leg spinner. Yeah. And Lalit was the off spinner. So we thought, oh, we go with uh, a spin attack in that way. And the rest, as they say, is history. Yep. Now, tell me, uh, they, they were still in, in the past. Um, you had, uh, you made that fateful tour to, to South Africa. Yes, I mean, when you people talk about me, yeah. uh, they Well, talk, you and so many others. Yeah, the, especially when you talk about the first test captain, yeah. uh, automatically the, the rebel tour comes in. So, yeah. I mean, you can't, you can't separate them. You can't separate them. Yeah, so that's, that's part of the part of life. Mm. So, the... Yeah, but I, how, I, how did you feel, uh, uh, Banula, from, you know, hero? Because cricket's always been a religion to Sri Lankans, uh, across all divides. And so you're a hero, and then you go on this rebel tour, and you return virtually zero. Yeah, when we came back, there was a ban imposed on us for 25 years. And that includes nothing to do with cricket. I mean, we could not do anything. Uh, they could not coaching, not playing, not doing anything. But the, uh, the, uh, the, as to why we went on the tour, I mean, yeah. that, that's people asking about why the hell did you go on the tour? Yeah. So, I mean, we knew that, I knew that my days were numbered. Where, as I said earlier, that there were some incidents, some clashes with the uh, administration. Uh, as you know, the, from time to time, you get, you, get a, you get groups controlling this game yeah. at that level. So, I mean, that, there was a group at that stage led by a very strong person. And uh, I mean, the, when you when you come to a wall, you've got to climb it, isn't it? Right. But then, uh, I mean, that tradition I took. I'm not the one who organized it. No. It was somebody else. Right. But then uh, they were let scot free. But then uh, I was the I was the one who who led the team. So right. naturally, the captain gets the blame. But looking back, I must say that I shouldn't have gone. I was going to make that my last question, but you said the answer now. So you regret it? Yes. I mean. At that time, I thought they were doing the right thing, yeah. but later on, the. Uh, but you the couldn't have known that you were going to get this huge ban. And no, we, you know, by that time, I think the England English team has gone there, right. and 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 the, and the uh, some other team has gone there. What happened to them? They got three-year ban on t from international cricket, but right. they could play in the domestics, and then they could, you know, they could practice their, uh, the the art that they they, they knew. Yeah. But uh, we were different, so, and then the amount of pressure got. Uh, the family members, the, the friends and all those. Yeah. Uh, I think the, at the end when you look back, I shouldn't have gone. Right. That's, 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 the, that's, the, that's the past. What about, where were you when we won the World Cup? I was in the studio at Upohaini giving commentaries. Ah, okay. And uh, then I left, I think it's about early, early morning on that day. That, that when we won that this thing and went home. That's because I was involved with Coventry at that stage with two with points. Must have been immensely satisfactory. Uh, yes, I mean, the whole country was, uh, I knew the feeling of the whole country, so. Yeah. So what I said was at the end, I can say, um, let's go home uh, in single. It said that Abhijaya Pambu. So it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful moment, wasn't it? Can we recreate that again? We can. We nearly did. Uh, but then, uh, the looking back, I think you got to get the combination right in the team, the balance right, and and the thinking right, which is what we lack now. A lot, lot of changes got to take place to do that part. And where do you think most of the uh, where's where's the biggest problem? Is it in the administration, the laws, the peer, the administration? What is it? When you when you look. Now, what's going on? I mean, there are, there are so many issues, isn't it? One is that there's no administration. There's only two people running the whole show. Yeah. The accusations coming from the ICC, um, and also there is uh, they talk about uh, match fixing and spot fixing, yeah. two different things. And uh, you feel the fitness of the players and, and 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 the body language. I mean, you talk about the school cricket. I mean, all these things got to look into, and then put in the right places, which is not which is not happening. Sad to say. I mean you can that's what you said from nineteen ninety six, even though we won the World Cup, even though we, we, we were enjoying the, the, the win. Yeah. But certain things 
quietly went down. And now I think the, it's time uh, to take you know take everything and put them put them right. Somebody strong got to be there, the minister of sports. Uh, but we've the, had so many ministers of sport. But then, none the, to equal uh, Gavani Sanaka. Gavani was not a minister of sport. He was the president of the Board of Control. Yes, sorry. Right. Yes. So minister of sports. One, what I believe is there, there were gentlemen called Sugadha Das, V. S. Sugadha Das. There were K. B. Gatnaka who did a lot for cricket. He was a sportsman himself. Then there was a gentleman called Vincent Pega who yeah. did a lot of things for soccer, football. But after that, we haven't got a, a sportsman who have put their foot down and start controlling controlling the setup. I mean, they they have they have gone along with the administration, but they're not doing, done the right thing. Why is it that you know uh, the game is controlled virtually by uh, what? Two or three families, you know, the Davidasas, Davidasas, the Ranatungas, Subhutipala, and then the, the, the whole thing goes back again. You know, it's, it's one blessed circle. Why is that? Yeah, I mean, th that's that's how it goes, isn't it? I mean, the the country is that. I mean, but is it is it because the the constitution is kind of fixed in that way? Yeah, the constitution. I believe that it must change. I mean, the we Sri Lanka cricket, cricket constitution. constitution. I mean, the country constitution has changed about 19 times, isn't it? All yeah. you know, it, it, yeah. it amendments are coming. So why can't we amend the constitution to suit the game of cricket? But non, you know, what happened now, he, you know, it, everything is done to suit individuals or groups, yeah. which is not right. I mean, the, it ultimately we are talking about cricket. Cricket must be in the centre of the table, and people yeah. should work towards developing it. Yeah. Right. Not to get things out of that, mm -hmm. which is you know sad to say. We are talking about three or four groups. I mean. Group A joins group B yeah. to hit group C this year. Yeah. And group A joins group C to hit the group B ne next year. And that's how it goes. I mean, Anna Punchieva, who, who was the president of uh, the board when he won the 1996 World Cup, yeah. he didn't survive one month. Yes. He was thrown out Churchillians. Well, yeah. So, I mean, the, you've got to stop that part. This doesn't belong to anybody. This, the game belongs to the players yeah. and the country. So, you know, we got to work on those, otherwise we can't. The, the minister, the prime minister and the president must decide, look here, is it, is it, is, this is not is the time to change things, to change that. Because this game got to go on, this game got to survive. I mean, if you don't do things, the right thing now, I mean, it, we, as we said, there's no future. Future is there still, we can see the way the under-19 boys played in the Asia Cup. <coughs> We came to the finals, we lost, but we did better than the seniors coming to the, coming to, coming to the finals. Mm -hmm. So there is a future. I mean, you saw those young boys who are playing, there is cricket in there. So we got to look into that, those areas, school cricket, club cricket, constitution, sports law, all those things got to look, look into immediately. And do you agree uh, with the ICC that it really shouldn't be politicized, that they should, it should have elections and so on? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the main accusation we have is that, you know, the, the politics involved in the, in, in, in the board. I mean, the sports law shows that clearly, isn't it? The, the selectors who are appointed by the Minister of Sports, yeah. the team that the se selectors select must go back to the Minister for approval. But that Minister might not know what LBW is from yeah. a board, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know. I mean, sometimes the ministers, I mean, if you see, as I said earlier, uh, um, you know, I respect those three gentlemen, yeah. K.B. Ratnayaka, Chukadas, and Vincent Pega, but after that, you know, what happened? So, the take that out. Why should, well, I mean, cricket is a game which does not need government funds, yeah. right? And we have hit the international level, we have won the World Cup, yeah. we have been top of the world. So, get that into a different platform yeah. and don't allow other, other rules which govern the other bodies to apply to a game of cricket. But have a have a, have a close look yeah. of what they do, how they spend money, and all those things. That's okay. But don't have direct control over the board. They got to be responsible. Yes. And uh, this is Newsline, and we are in the company of uh, Mr. Bandilawana Pura, Sri Lanka's first cr Test cricket captain. And uh, if you have any questions, do send them in by SMS zero double seven two three hundred three zero five. And uh, we have. Uh, one um, here, a message. Today, international sports bodies require that sports bodies are independent of politics. So the role of a minister can only be minimal 
unlike in the past. So we need capable administrators. Do you agree with all that? I totally agree. I mean, you find, you talk about three groups, isn't it? Yes. Or four groups. You find every group comes in, somebody comes in, there are about, you know, five, six, seven. We call it the catchers or the, yeah. you know, the catchers come in and they run the whole show. Yeah. I mean, you find that from, you've got to stop that part. If, if four leaders are, or groups are coming with leaders, why can't the Mr. Collins say, okay, I'll give you two years and give them two years each. At the end, see who has done the, the best job yes. and give him the extension. Right. Let them join hands and do it. Don't fight each other. Why fight to run cricket in this country? It's a sad indictment, isn't it, on the administrators that when these past cricketers have been asked to come in, come forward and assist, uh, in for the way forward, uh, that all of them virtually said the same thing. Yep. That they didn't want to waste their time and that there had to be a, a commitment to change the constitution and also amend the sports law accordingly. Yeah, we all say the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. The, and people think that we are not willing to come forward and work for the game of cricket. We are willing. I met a lot of people, a lot of ex cricketers. They are willing to come and work. But we got to work straight, honestly, and without taking sides. We've got to work towards developing the game in this country. So if that is, if atmosphere is created in that way, I'm sure past creators will come. On a, on a wider picture, uh, what, do you, what do you see if the way, if nothing changes, and if we just carry on the way we are, what's the future? Oh. Future, and will there be a future? I will keep on playing. We'll keep on playing for the sake of playing. We keep on playing because we have. I mean, the, the, the problem now is that there is a there is a thought that there's a threat saying that they are going to take the test status out of us. Right. I mean, Ali, what about what about the, all the hard work everybody has put in? Yeah. I mean, the, the cricketers who played before us, they played for nothing. There were no facilities. When we played, we got two hundred rupees a day and we got accommodation and we got transport. But before us, people like Michael Tisseras, Sahabandos, Kehel Gamuas, I mean, you name the it. wonderful it, names in the past. past. I, mean, I mean, they played the game without anything. Because they played the game, the game was there for us to play. Indeed. Right. And if they did not continue, we wouldn't have, you know, we would have played their game. But we played and then the Ganathungas, Mahanamas, the whole lot took over. So game was there. But in the past, uh, Mr. Manapur, I'd like to say, uh, well, first of all, we've got another message, uh, which I'm, we've got a different message, but I'll read this one out. I'd like to say hello to Bandler, great cricketer, super leader. He should be more involved in the administration of cricket. Agreed? Yes, I mean, I work for the Asian Cricket Council. Yes. I work for ICC. So therefore, I mean, there's something to be taken off me, isn't it? Indeed. Yeah. I'm, willing to, it, give. I'm willing to give, but then uh, the, the setup should be right. Um, what I was going to ask you was that, you know, in the past we had the involvement of uh, different corporates who, uh, who uh, were passionate about cricket as much as they were uh, about whatever they did. And they included, of course, uh, the company that we are here, the Maharaja Group. Uh, and. You don't see that now. Is there no need now? Yeah, I mean, people don't. Or is it that, why are these people all, all, all sort of, they fed up? What's the future? That's, that's what that's the problem what we, is. That's what the problem is. I mean, what, what are these people doing who are governing the body now? That's right. What, uh, I it mean, must make the people sad. Sad, and uh, they know you, 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 you must make people comfortable if they want to come forward and help you. I mean, you've got, you've got to have a certain amount of trust. And, uh, you know, there must be transparency, isn't it, of what you do? Yes. And so the, when that is not there, nobody will come in. I mean, we, we know the big name those days, the, the companies who got involved. Yes. And we know the individuals who were running those <coughs> companies, how, how strongly they were involved in this game. Yes. And how many, I mean, people are more than willing to give jobs to cricketers. Yes. Right. Now, we have the mercantile now sector, yes. I mean, playing from A division to about, you know, I don't know about 10, 15 divisions. Yeah. So mercantile is still strong. And they're, they're helping this game. Yeah. But then the same feeling, um, the, when you go out to the market, 
I mean, the question that they ask, sometimes we can't answer as cricketers. And they ask, Lukia Bandala, why aren't you doing something? And what's going on? So, I mean, the public feel that, yeah. you know, this game is not close to them anymore. But then uh, that is what we got to build. We had to, we had to build that. When, when you, when, you know, let's take a look at the current team now, now that are playing and so on. But outside of that, in the administration, there's so much going on. And there's allegations of this money uh, being robbed or attempted robbing, hacking. God knows what's happening there. Uh, and, you know, there seems to be complete, and it's a complete, look, it's nothing but a symbol, isn't it, there? Yeah, Ali, the, you know, when we did badly in the Asian, uh, Asia Cup, yeah. I mean, why can't the coach, the captain, the manager, the batting coach, the fielding coach, batting and fielding are the two areas that we, we, we failed? Yeah. Why can't they sit on one table and tell the, tell the Sri Lankan public, the great loving public, yes, what went wrong? But didn't do, we know do right. And you know, talk openly, all together seated. But haven't we seen that? I mean, don't they don't they own that to the public of this country? To sit together and say, look here, yes, we had a you know bad series. These are the mistakes we did, we will put them right and give assurance to the public, yes, we are going to work on those things. And also, you you know, the we have a, this thing of fitness, number one, in the team. Now fitness belongs to the players. But they are under contract now. And then there's a clause I know it, it is up to a player. It, it does not belong to the, the trainer. Trainer is there to help you. But keeping fitness is, is on your own. And you're talking about match fixing. Yes, there are a lot of accusations. Why can't there be a declaration of each player? Say that you know that you're not involved in this whole thing and then sign a document yeah. and come out and say that. Um, I want to ask you uh, this question, uh, Banali. Uh, you, you're involved in pitches and so on. In fact, you yeah. you sort of had to do that uh, when you were in the wilderness, uh, banned and you know shunned. I wanted to ask you this question actually. When you came back here, and you remember you when you left, you were the captain of Sri Lanka yeah. cricket. And when you came back, you had this 25-year ban imposed on you. Did you lose a lot of friends? Yes, I did. I mean the. When we came to the customs, I must say immigration, yeah. the whole lot came and asked me, well, did you get your, did you all get your money? Because there was a rumor going that we were not paid money. Yeah. We were paid that money. And we, we met the Indian Revenue Department, the chief, and said, Bandula, bring all that money to Sri Lanka. So we bought that money. Right. And uh, Sri Lanka wanted that money. Indeed. And then we gave the original contract. And the, and the commission at that time was a member of the Board of Control who implemented a 25-year ban on us. Right. But we were banned for 25 years. Right. So the, we lost some people, but then the 25-year ban, uh, a lot of people felt that it was a bit unreasonable without inquiry. <coughs> and then I think that brought a lot of sympathy on us. That helped us a bit. So you made some additional friends? Yes. I mean, the friends who were moving out yeah. came back, came some back. of them. Yeah. Uh, it must have been, the, the program, isn't long enough to get your full story. Uh, but, uh, Bandar Wanapura, we've got one question here. Don't you like to lead Sri Lanka, like Pakistan, as a cricketer leading them? Oh, uh, the set of rules which applies for the game of cricket is totally different to the set of rules of the politics. Right. I don't think that can tell you. That will never, never, ever be the same. It won't. Yeah, I, I, know, how we, I know how Imran did that. I mean, he's a unique person. Yeah. But he fought it the way out. He did it, but yeah. it took him 20, twenty years. years. But then uh, I but don't think I don't think cricket uh, can follow the set, you know, the set of rules of the game of cricket and join mm. politics. I don't think so. Why can't the players make an annual declaration of assets to prevent match fixing and conduct random money laundering? I agree. As I said, give a declaration. Come to the come to this. You know, some of this. Talk to the nation and say, look, okay, no, we are not involved. Look at the camera state and say, no, we are not. And then, then only we can believe. Because I know there is a there is accusation of, you know, a few people. Match fixing and two, uh, spot fixing are two different things, Ali. Right. Match fixing, you need the captain and a few senior players. Spot fixing, you can do with the captain or you can do on your own. Well, I have studied that right. from, the, from, from when I was working for ACC. And how difficult is pitch fixing? 
uh, that's quite easy. I mean, right. as long as you are in charge of the preparation of the pitches, you can't fix. You can't. You can't say, look here. I mean, it depends on the on on the team, but you can say how the wicket is going to be. But surely, uh, uh, the groundsman in any country surely prepares the pitch for his team. That's what he says. Yeah. But if there's money, for example, if 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 a team is playing in in a match, yeah. if the win bonus, if the if the losing bonus is more than the win bonus, yeah. if the losing bonus is more than the win bonus, and that can happen. Pay? That can happen. That will happen. I see. Uh, so the. Shall we take this question? What is Bandana's opinion about the present initiative of the Education Ministry, independent of the Sports Ministry, with a team led by somebody, and the issue of too many teams in the Premier Division? Totally agree. I said, look, we have to look into the school cricket structure, the way that we are playing, because those days we got school boys who were good enough to play for the national team when they left school. I mean, like, Arjuna is one of them, Mahila is one of them. I mean, they were cricketers who were good enough to play. But now we don't get that quality because you've got to have a quality tournament. Same thing applies to domestic tournament. You can't have 24 teams and think, you know, talk about quality. Right. That, that's a different game. Yes. So I agree, totally agree. We've got to reduce the number of teams in the Premier Division. And then our, our, our top grade of cricket must be quality. And school cricket must be looked into and, and improved. If there's no struggle, there is no progress. The struggles are many at Sri Lanka cricket. What is the future? Are we going to be able to replicate our 1996 victory again? It's about time. Yeah, it, 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 it's up to the minister to put a foot down and do certain things. Don't, don't bow down to individuals. Don't be scared of individuals. I mean, the, the game of cricket should be number one. As I said earlier, let's work towards developing this game and putting it right. We will all join. And put Sri Lanka, the we great join. Sri Lanka yeah. cricket again. That's cricket is number one. Cricket will be in the centre of the table. The and perhaps then all these uh, other people who uh, helped cricket along the way will re-emerge. Yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely. I mean, they will come forward. I'm sure that there are so many, so many decent gentlemen who doesn't want to get involved in this hassle of infighting and yes. you know doing things. I mean, if they are given a uh, you know clear path, they will sit and work. Bandula Warrenpura, thank you ever so much for being on our network and we look forward to welcoming you again. Thank and, you, Ali. Uh, thank you uh, for your input for uh, cricket in Sri Lanka. And that's the way it was on Newsline. Thank you very much. Take care and God bless. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali.